So earlier this year, the CIA released 13 million pages of declassified documents online. Although these documents were accessible before, they were very hard to get to. But now, anyone can view these documents from their own home. A lot of interesting stuff was brought up in these documents, such as UFO sightings, invisible ink recipes, and Nazi war crimes. However, for this video, I want to focus on one particular topic of interest for me. The CIA's psychic experiments. In the 1970s, the CIA carried out a project called the Stargate Project. The purpose of it was to find people with psychic abilities and teach agents to acquire psychic abilities which could be used to help them with intelligence operations. A lot of the work here focused on remote viewing, which is the ability to see things without actually being there. So for example, if I were capable of remote viewing, then someone could place an object in a room a thousand miles away from me, and then I could remote view into that location and tell you exactly what was in that room. Of the 13 million declassified documents, a lot of them had information about the Stargate project. One thing that has caught a lot of people's attention are the experiments done which claim to verify the psychic abilities of a man named Uri Geller. If you've ever heard of Uri Geller, then you'd know why I'm pretty skeptical of this. But first, let's take a look at what is said in the documents. First, we have this video of Uri Geller being tested in which 15 drawings were sealed inside of an envelope inside of a safe. An experimenter would choose an envelope at random, look at the drawing inside of a different room than Geller was in, and then reseal the envelope. At this point, Uri Geller had to draw what he perceived was inside the envelope. In this particular video, this is what Geller drew. The drawing on top is the one that was sealed inside the envelope. As you can see, it's pretty accurate. In addition to this, Geller was also tasked to sit in a sealed room and monitored, and then an experimenter would choose a word at random from the dictionary, draw a picture of it on a piece of paper, and then tape it to the wall outside of Geller's cell so he couldn't see it. After this, they'd use the intercom to tell him to draw what was on the paper. One of the words the experimenter chose was bunch, so he drew a bunch of grapes on the paper. Uri Geller said he saw purple circles and then, he drew this picture. Other drawings included pictures of the solar system, and this picture of a dove. Very impressive. I'm sure we can all agree that what was described in these documents is very impressive, but like I said earlier, I'm a bit skeptical considering some previous events that have occurred with Uri Geller. Remember that scene in The Matrix where they bend a spoon with their mind? Well, Uri Geller used to be pretty famous for doing just that, except he would still have to touch the spoon. Here's one performance of him doing that. I melt the metal down, so, so... How? I want it to bend, I just say bend. Yeah, you melt it. You see? Now wait a minute, wait a minute. Keep stroking your keys more. In addition to spoon bending, he claimed to have all types of abilities, such as being able to replicate people's drawings without looking at them, and much more. Well, I, I, uh, Can I show? I, yeah, I'd like to... Am I wrong? You're right. I'm right. Good. Okay, so here's the problem with him. He claims that he actually has legitimate powers, and he got them after he encountered a UFO at the age of three. As far as I'm concerned, though, he doesn't have any supernatural powers. James Randi, who is a skeptic slash magician that I mentioned several times before on my channel, pretty thoroughly debunked this guy. Here is James Randi explaining how to do the spoon bending trick. And it gets soft. So I say to it, bend, 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 and it bends. Of course, it does take a little preparation. In fact, it takes a lot of preparation. Furthermore, Uri Geller appeared on The Tonight Show to demonstrate his abilities except the host of the show made sure that neither Geller nor his assistants were allowed near any of the props used until the performance. When it came time for Geller to show his abilities, they wouldn't work. Jarrett, we are back. Your Uri was telling me you, you, you don't feel, what, strong tonight? I don't Is feel that... strong. It's not all tonight. Right now I'm, feel, I'm feeling being pressed and then I can't... Well, I'm can't not trying to press you, I really not. But, you no, know, you're only I'm... telling me, well, will you try that or that? <laughs> 
Well, I thought that was the idea of, uh, of, uh, no, I'm not, no, I'm not trying to put you down. So from what I've seen here, Uri Geller seems to be a fraud. So I guess I'm just curious as to how he was able to pass a test administered by the CIA. I can only think the tests given by the CIA weren't as reliable as the documents made them out to be, but obviously I wasn't there, so I really don't know. Although one interesting thing about the Stargate project was that it was terminated in 1995 since the CIA concluded it was never useful in any operation. It's also important to note that one of the reasons the project was terminated was because there was reason to suspect the project managers changed the reports so they would fit background cues. So maybe the information we were given about Uri Geller by the CIA wasn't totally accurate. That would make sense to me. Overall, I'd have to conclude that the project was flawed in thinking that Uri Geller was legitimate, since there is so much evidence that proves that he wasn't. And because of how unsuccessful the Stargate project turned out to be, the other psychics involved with it probably were not legitimate either. Keep in mind, this is just one of the many topics talked about in the recently declassified CIA documents. If you want me to talk about some of the other areas of interest in the documents, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the flip side.